Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Richard. I'm Heather. So you've come to find out about the Buffalo Induction Hob. Yes, please. So what do you currently have at home? I have a sort of glass top, but it glows bright red. Right, constantly. so when you turn it on, it's the hob that gets hot, not the yes. pans. Is that right? Yes. Right. Um, this works slightly differently in the fact that induction doesn't actually generate any heat in the machine itself. Um, the heat comes from the fact it sends out an electromagnetic signal and when you put something which is magnetic on top of the hob, it's that thing that gets hot, not the hob itself. I'll kind of show you in practice, because you, know, you, you look a little bit sort of yes. uh, not sure about that. Um, first thing, have you got any uh, money on you at all, like £10 or £20 or something? A tenner. Fantastic, cool. So um, I promise I'll, I'll let you have this back. Um, just to sort of prove, prove the point, so obviously £10 notes aren't magnetic, apart from a tiny little strip in the centre. Uh, when I turn it on, You'll notice that it will start beeping, and that beep is to tell me that there is nothing on top of the hob which is magnetic. So if I put my hand on top, you'll notice that my hand is not, you know, suddenly burst into flames. Um, the hob itself is actually cold. Um, great safety feature. Um, as you know, children like to play with dials, so if they turn the dial on, put the hand on it, they won't burn themselves. It's not until I put something which is magnetic on top of it that it'll actually start kicking in and start working as such. Just to sort of prove the point, um, this is obviously a pan of cold water. Do you want to just check that's cold? Yes. Okay, cold water, fantastic. So at the moment it's beeping to say there's nothing there. I'm going to put this magnetic pan on top of the hob and if you notice it will change noise. So it stopped beeping and now it started generating uh, the heat. So again, the hob is not getting hot so I can put my hands right on the side and it's not generating any heat um, on the hob itself. However, you'll notice that the saucepan is getting hot, uh, and also whatever's inside the saucepan is therefore getting hot as well. Uh, and within a very, very short period of time, it starts generating heat and taking that water um, up to boiling point. So really, really quick and very, very interesting. That's very impressive, actually, because it's almost a rolling boil already. Yeah, so right now, it's, it's really starting to boil, so you think, ah, oh, I need to turn it down quickly. With induction, if I turn it off, it stops boiling. Wow, that's instant. Yeah, so it's more like gas, it's more responsive like gas. Um, and that's basically because you have a lot more control with induction than you would do with an electric hob. Um, just to sort of prove the point, if I take that off, you'll notice your 10 pound note um, is nicely ironed, but it's not actually burnt at all. You were talking about magnetic pans, so am I going to have to replace all my pans? Not necessarily, no. Um, as long as your stainless steel pans are magnetic, they'll work perfectly okay. Um, so any pan which is magnetic will work. Now the best way to check that is to get a magnet and to see if it sticks onto the bottom of okay. it. If it does stick, it will work with induction. Um, the only other thing to bear in mind is you need a pan which is fairly thick. If it's too thin, it may trip in and trip out. Um, but generally most uh, magnetic pans will work. So things like cast iron will work perfectly okay. Stainless steel, a lot of the stainless steel pans will work perfectly okay. Things like aluminium and glass obviously won't work. It's really good, that's really impressive, the way that it was so instant, unbelievable. Yes. Yeah, fascinating. Thank you. Thank you.